does Rogaine help regrow hair loss that occurs along the hairline? In this video today, I'm gonna to share with you my five month experiment in using it for that very issue. I did a previous video and update after using Rogaine for two months, so I will link to that one down below. I will show you how my hairline started thinning out in this video clip here. This is just the best video clip that I could find to really show how I started experiencing some thinning in certain areas along the hairline. It's not something that deeply, deeply bothers me in the scope of life. It's absolutely nothing to be honest, but for some people, hair loss is a really big deal. It's a big issue. They could have a lot more hair loss than just a little bit of hair loss along the hairline, and I understand that. I'm just hoping that this video will help people who have possibly a similar issue to me and who just wanna see what I've experienced and if I've had some success in using Rogaine. Now, in addition to talking about Rogaine, I've also implemented some other things into my routine, so I'm gonna share that with you guys. I started this experiment on November 8th, 2023. And at that time I was using Rogaine, which I have right here. It's the 2% liquid. You're supposed to take this dropper and pour it into the area where you're gonna do the treatment. I mean, using it like that, I feel like you could be wasting some product. When I apply it, what I do is I pour a little bit of it into this cap and then I take a Q-tip, dip it into here, and I strategically apply it. Once it's not wet anymore, dip it again and apply it wherever it's needed. And that's all I've done. Now, in the very beginning, for at least the first three months, I ended up applying it that way just one single time a day at night before I went to sleep. About a month to a month and a half into using it, I did experience some thinning in the area that I was treating, like most treating, which was over here in the sides. Please check out the other video because I share more about that and I share some video clips. Even if that does happen, if you experience some thinning or hair loss in the beginning of your treatment, doctors tend to say that this is completely normal and it's a great sign that it's pushed your old hair out and you're getting new hair that's gonna be coming in. That's what I've heard anyway. So after that happened, you know, I started having hair growth very quickly and at the two month mark, I saw some very clear hair growth along the hairline and in places that I did not expect it, which would be like all around here. I did not expect this. I did, I didn't really think that I had necessarily had hair loss around here, but even with saying that, when I was applying it, I would apply it around the whole hairline just because I didn't want to just treat these areas. I just did it just to see what would happen, and hair growth happened, which really surprised me. Around February 15th, I started to change things up. I started receiving some comments from people who said some scary things. They, you know, highly encouraged me basically to stop using this. They were saying that they've noticed others talking about how they've experienced collagen loss and facial aging and how it's just done terrible things to people. So I went down that rabbit hole. I did research on numerous online forums, on Reddit and different places. And, you know, obviously some of the things that people are saying some of those things are definitely concerning, but I never saw any real solid, solid evidence of it through photos. There were some photos that just didn't show that, honestly. And I'm not discrediting what they said. I believe anything is possible. So I have taken that to heart, but um, there's just a lot of unknowns. So as a result, they did impact me to an extent and I just decided to not use it as often and to kind of see what would happen. And so instead of doing it every single night, I started only using it two or three times a week. And that was it. And that's what I've been doing for the last two months. And here's the thing with Rogaine, the experts tell you, anybody will tell you that once you stop using it, you're going to lose all that hair that grew in. And that is really annoying to hear and really unfortunate. There are unknowns with what people are saying in regards to it affecting the skin on your face. Some of it doesn't sound very plausible, but anything is possible. And just to kind of change things up, I stopped using it as often. So I ended up getting this bottle. I put in about a tablespoon of a carrier oil and the carrier oil I used is avocado oil. And after doing that, I put some drops of peppermint essential oil and rosemary essential oil. These are organic, doesn't really need to be, into the bottle maybe 10 of each, 10 drops each, on the alternate days, on the other days of the week. So I end up taking this, and it might look kind of silly, but I actually pour it onto the Q-tip like this, as strange as it might look, get a bit saturated, and then I kind of use like a close-up mirror, and I apply it 
onto my scalp in the same exact places that I apply the Rogaine and it has a very, very cooling sensation. Sometimes I'll apply a heavier amount if it's right before taking a shower, but otherwise I don't do that and it doesn't leave me with like a greasy mess because I'm using a Q-tip again and just applying it very strategically. My hair might look just a tiny bit greasier, the little hairs growing in, but I kind of just wipe it off and it's, it's not a big deal. So I've been doing that um, maybe about two to three times a week to see if I can maintain the hair growth and see if my hair actually continues to grow since I am not using Rogaine as much. And also just a really quick warning with Rogaine, this stuff is said to be extremely toxic to cats and dogs, like deadly. Please be really careful and keep this all completely away from them. I have some reasons that I am using these particular essential oils because they help to bring some blood flow to the scalp, which is supposed to be the same mechanism of action for the Rogaine. To help with hair growth, you're bringing circulation and blood flow to the area of the scalp. In this mouse study, a 3% peppermint oil applied topically resulted in faster hair growth than minoxidil. 20 mice were shaved at the beginning of the experiment. There were four groups of five mice. The first group was treated with a saline solution, the second with jojoba seed oil, the third minoxidil, and the fourth peppermint oil that was diluted with a carrier oil, which was jojoba seed oil. Keep in mind that this was done in mice and the study lasted for four weeks. I am not in favor of experimenting on animals, but I would like to show you a photo of the results so that you can really see these results for yourself. As you can see, the peppermint oil treated group, which is on the very right, they had the most profound hair growth at four weeks. The saline and jojoba groups had very little growth. The group to the left of the peppermint oil was the minoxidil treated mice. They had some results, but not as profound or consistent as the peppermint oil treated mice. According to the study author, in our study, we found that peppermint oil induced very thick and long hair after four weeks of topical application and promoted the elongation of hair follicles. The results showed that the peppermint oil treated group had the most significant hair growth. All of the mice in that group had a full coat of fur by four weeks. In the minoxidil group, only two of the mice had that, two had very little growth, and one had patchy growth. The peppermint oil group showed notable increases also in dermal thickness, follicle number, and and follicle depth. This next study was conducted in humans, a randomized comparative trial. Patients with androgenic alopecia were treated with 2% minoxidil or rosemary oil for six months total. No major changes were noted at three months in either group, but both groups experienced a significant increase in hair count at the six month point. Here you can see a study photo showing pre and post trial hair, and this man was treated with the rosemary oil. The study also noted that the minoxidil group experienced significant issues with scalp itching, and the other group did not have that. According to the study author, application of topical rosemary solution was as effective as minoxidil 2% in the treatment of AGA. In addition to those two options, there are other alternative natural treatments that are very promising, and I'm going to link to a review paper below. In that review paper, they mention ingredients which include pumpkin seed oil, saw palmetto, melatonin, caffeine, and once again, rosemary oil for hair growth. Another thing that people often do, if you can nano needle or you can even micro needle your scalp in that area if this hair growth issue is a big problem and you really want to do everything possible to help with hair growth. I haven't really been doing that often. Maybe every couple of months I will do a micro needling treatment, two to three months, and I will include my scalp area along the hairline. Some people do it much, much more often to help with hair growth. And if you've ever done it and had success, please share that down below. Other than that, I have been using this other product when I do a scalp treatment. This one, I mostly use it right before I get into the shower. So in addition to applying this, I might go a little more heavy handed just prior to a shower. And I'll also add other oils to my scalp just for the fact that I have a dry scalp and I will use this. This is a scalp massage brush from the brand Brio. And I'll just show you how this works. And this thing really, really, really massages the scalp. It feels honestly like absolutely amazing, but it's hard for me to talk about this because I feel like this costs so much money. It's very expensive. And the company very graciously sent this to me. I was going to do a video on it if I liked the product and post it to Amazon. And so I will be doing that in the near future because I really do genuinely like the product, but it's hard for me to try to, I'm not trying to promote it to you because it's so expensive. It's over $200, but 
but it's beautiful, it's really nice, and it is useful for stimulating the scalp, for sure. Obviously, you don't need to have something like that. You can use just a regular $2 brush and try to massage the scalp with it. You could do anything. You can use your fingers in the shower and massage your scalp. They also have very cheap scalp brushes with like little pointy plastic tips for when you're in the shower, and that would be amazing too. You don't, like I said, you don't have to get something like this. Let's talk about hair growth. I'm gonna show you my before and after results so you can see the growth that I've had. I've got a little measuring tape right here. So I'm gonna measure this here and I'm going to put it on the screen, the length of hair growth that I have here and along the side and along this side. What you're seeing here is the hair growth all around the hairline. I've taken this comb and tried to really separate out the pieces of hair growth from the rest of the hair. Normally you won't see this because I'm not gonna wear my hair like that. I try to just like push it back. And if you notice my hair is really weird, I have it all pinned up in a strange way. And the reason I did that is because I went through and made really thin parts and pulled the hair back, pulled it back kind of tightly to try to see if I could see the hair growing in in those areas that were most the problem areas. I do know that when my hair is pulled back completely that it doesn't look like it did before. The hairline looks very different and I don't see those balding areas like I did before. So I'll give you a look at that in one second. I'm going to put my hair up. So this is what it looks like. One of the biggest problems with Rogaine is that we're told once you stop using it, your hair is all going to fall out. I mean, not all of it, but all of the gains that you had, all of the new hair growth that you had is going to fall out within a few months. And I'd like to know if this is true. And I'd like to be your guinea pig and experiment with that theory and see what happens. I like that I had this initial hair growth. If you guys are interested in me being the guinea, a big guinea pig here, let me know because if you'd like for me to set my Rogaine aside completely, I can do that and I can just continue doing treatments with my essential oils to see if I can retain and continue growing my hair. If you are interested in me doing that, please say so down below. I'm going to make a comment down below and you can reply, you can like it if you want me to do that. Just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.